So our penultimate race of day one on the final week. The starters all of the league is the pre hard detect listed handicap hurdle. So Quintral down to Darren Thompson, Forgotten next for Martin Needham, David Hooley's first date, Pen and Ink for Daniel French, David Robinson's Herbalistic Blade, Jim Murray's Fault of the Future, Warhols for Josh Sutherland, Pontypool Racing's Diamond Geezer, Craig Beckwith sharing out, Clown for Pontypool Racing, an imaginary symbol for Alex Cherry make up eleven to go over two miles and a furlong here. Starters got them racing. First of 13. This is the little up and over, similar to the Cheltenham Cross Country course. And those little, I don't know if you like cheese wedges or whatever they're called anyway. Back to this race, the pre hardetted listed handicap hurdles being led by Warhorse of Josh Sutherland. Obviously, champion trainer for National Hunt this year, convincingly as usual. Years in a row, he's won it. <sighs> yep, getting a bit boring, but honey, kidding as they get to the third. He certainly has uh, controlled the national hunt for some time. But I think uh, Vinnie Gerard's going to give you a run for your money next year as they go over the fourth. We shall see. But these horses, with no effort put in, <laughs> the ones he's put in at the break have been rather special. So I can imagine with a little bit of effort. Sutherland, control of the national hump, might be under threat. But it's Warhorse that leads us past the grandstand here. By about four, from Diamond Geezer forgotten next. Herbalistic Blade and Imaginary Sim. Excuse me, all together. They're a couple of lengths away from pen and ink. Share it out a little wider. Up against the rail is first date. Then fought the future clown and quintral downs. Horse for champion trainer leads it from moving into next second. Now he's forgotten next. He is next as they go over the six. They will skip over that. Forgotten next pecked a little bit on landing, and Warhorse extends his lead now to four. So Warhorse from forgotten next. Diamond Geezer, herbalistic blade, imaginary symbol. Uh, length to pen and ink. I'll have nowhere to go in a minute. First date. Jim Murray's fault of the future and share it out. Clown and Quintral Downs brings up the rear, but there's really ten lengths between first and last. And we're already inside the final miles. They go over the seventh. There's still this war horse, although he's leads down to a couple now, as Pen and Ink does find a bit of racing room and joins the war line of horses as they go over the eighth. Better jump there by Forgotten Next. So War Horse comes back to the pack with Forgotten Next in second, then Pen and Ink an imaginary symbol, Herbalistic Blade and Diamond Geezer. Fall of the Future. Share it out just a length off those, and then first date, the Clown and Quintral Downs have got a bit to do, but it's this war horse still leads into the tenth, so they do this down to the next, the eleventh, there's one to follow it up, and it's war horse with herbalistic blade that's moved into second now. So war horse, herbalistic blade, pen and ink, they're all under a lot of pressure now, moving well up on the wide outside is first date, but it's quite a tight left turn here to go wide is not going to help him but it's Warhorse Herbalistic Blade these two have got a couple of lengths advantage on the rest the widest of all is first date the clown trying to run on but Warhorse still leads us just by a length though to Herbalistic Blade there's still two and a half furlongs left to run and it's Warhorse leads him down to the penultimate and gets over a well Herbalistic Blade was better away from it and the clown and it's the clown Herbalistic Blade and Warhorse these three in the line out wide is first date as they come down to the last better jump there by Warhorse Herbalistic Blade was poor and it's Warhorse and the clown in between horses is share it out war horse clown down inside the final half war horse seems to just have a little bit more clowns going backwards share it out on the wide outside fault of the future war horse share it out fight or fall of the future and it is war horse just hangs on pillar to post win there for our champion trainer josh sutherland break takes the pre hardit listed and he with the war us share it out for Craig Beckwith unlucky they're running on well in second fault of the future for Jim Murray came from nowhere into third forgotten next for Martin Leedon was fourth and the clown for Pontypool Racing who was nearly in it came in fifth